Hi and welcome to this video about the Ableton Live tools for Smart Revolution. This part will be about how to transfer our entire workflow from a single machine to a dual computer setup. This is a great thing to do if you need more processing power for heavier sessions. You will need two things, besides having two computers, a way to route audio between the two computers, and here I will personally use two RME MADI cards, but there are other alternatives such as Dante, Ravenna, and so on. The second one, a network switch connecting both computers with Ethernet cables to send the automation via the network. You could use Wi-Fi, but Ethernet is just more stable and faster. So this is the session we previously built in the workflow video. If you haven't seen this video, a link should appear in the top right corner of the video. So we are going to send the actual spot session file to the second computer. As I am using two Macs, I am going to use AirDrop to send the file as the SPAD session file never waits more than a few kilobits. Open the file and we can see that everything is there, but sadly it would be too easy if that was it. Before getting into it, we can close the SPAD revolution on the first computer. So we need to change a few things. First, go into the preference panel of SPAD revolution. We are going to set up the OSC connection, just like in the setup video. The only exception is that here, we need to change the default parameters. And so, we are going to get the IP address of the computer hosting Ableton Live. Make sure to select the IP address of the correct network if you are connected to more than one network at a time. Enter the IP address of the live computer for the OSC output. And click the IP address next to the OSC input to select the corresponding IP address. Again, make sure you are using the right IP address of the correct network you wish to use. Now we need to do the same inside the SPAT plugins inside Live. Go back to Live, open the plugin room in the room track, and put the IP address of the computer hosting SPAT as the output and select the corresponding IP address as the input. Do the same for the return and the send. Of course, don't forget to check if the OSC is enabled in the preferences or SPAT will simply not receive anything. The automations should now be received in SPAT. Only thing left to do is to check the audio. First, let's make sure my input in SPAT and my output in live are set to my two MADI interfaces. We can now press play inside live. So we have sound, but the bass is coming from the pad number 3. This is because my MADI OUT channel from my first interface and the IN channels from the second one are not a one-to-one -one unlike our virtual audio driver. And so you guessed it, we will simply have to change the output channels in live to send them to the correct channel. Depending on which audio networking solution you use, you might not even have to redo the routing or at least not in live. We can't wait to see what you will create with those tools. Be sure to check out the other videos as well if you haven't. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to not miss the next videos. And I will see you in the next one.